Hi there, I'm Graham Lewis and in this video we're going to explore what the definition of present value is in annuity, which can be quite tricky to think about. And so I'm going to take it slowly and do a little example and then um, we'll develop. So imagine we have a kind lady who wants to give $500 to a student at the end of the year. The annuity she buys gives 6% per annum semi-annually. So that means that it will be two compounding before the end of the year. How much will this annuity cost her to give? Obviously, it's going to be less than 500 because it's going to make 3% uh, after six months and 3% the next six months. So let's have a look. So imagine we have 500 is the original um, the amount at the end. And my original amount is x. And I want to compound that by 3%. So I want to multiply it by 1.03. And I need to compound it by 3% again, another 1.03. So to solve for x, I need to divide 500 by 1.03 squared. And that comes out as the answer that the annuity would cost her, the present value of that annuity would be $471.30. And that's what the present value of an annuity is. The present value is the sum of money, which if invested now, so if I invest $471.30 now at a given rate of compound interest, so 3% every six months will accumulate exactly to a specified amount. So my $471.30, my um, uh, present value now, compounded at a specific rate, will give me $500 after two compounding. And that's um, in a nutshell what present value is. So it seems complicated, but that's what it is. Now let's extend that to a full example. So here we have Mrs. Generous again, and she's wanted to provide a $500 scholarship to a student at her old school. But this time she wants to give um, one scholarship every year for 10 years. So our period is 10 years, and she wants to give a scholarship of the amount of $500. So the, uh, she wants to give $500 every 10 years. So once a year, a student gets a scholarship of $500. But the thing is that the um, the tricky thing about this is that the 6% is compounded semi-annually. So that's what makes it a little bit tricky. The 6% is semi-annual. So because it's semi-annual, um, as I showed before, we need to divide the 6% by 2 to get the 3%, which is our i, or 0 0.03, but that's if that's done twice. So the uh, the present value, not future value, apologies for that, the present value after one year, as we discussed just a second ago, is 500 divided by 1.03 squared. And we worked that out as $471.30, which makes sense because um, the annuity after one year will cost less um, because it's earning interest twice. Now, after two years, obviously we have here the 500. If we this, this is the sum of all of the annuities. We have the original 500 over 1.032 squared. So we've got it would have cost her that much for the first year. Now, the second year is going to cost less money. The second year is going to cost less money if you think about it, because it will have had more time to compound at the beginning. She's because she's putting all the money up front then the second year will cost less this annuity. So if you think about the second year, um, obviously it's semi-annual, so that means it compounds four times um, because it's semi-annual after two years. So I need to take the 500 and divide it com by 1.03 to the power of four, which actually comes out at $444.24. So all, the sum of all of the annuities, this is the sum of all, would be that's how much the first year one cost and the second year one would cost 500 over 1.03 to the power of 4 which is less money which makes sense because it's had more time to grow from the beginning because she gives all the money up front. After three years um, we can see that the total amount of annuities, the sum, would be obviously um, the cost of the first year annuity plus the cost of the second year annuity. And I'm sure you can see the pattern now. If we've got three years and it's semi-annual, it's going to be compounded six times. So I need to divide by 1.03 to the six. So what we actually have here is a geometric series, isn't it? And you can see that after 10 years, which is what we want, we have a geometric series. So let's have a look at this. Our first term of our geometric series is 
500 over 1.03 squared, our common ratio is 500 over 1.03 squared. No, it's not, I apologize. It's 1 over 1.03 squared. To get from one term to the next term, you multiply by 1 over 1.03 squared. To get from this to this one, we multiply by 1 over 1.03 squared. So our common ratio is that, and our number of terms is 10. So we have a formula. So looking at the formula here, uh, which we have the sum of the first n terms, if I just move that up there. And so what we have here is here is our sum of our first n terms. And these would be the sum of the present values of all of them. So it's not future values, it's the present values of all of the annuities added together. So if I add together all of these annuities, it's the first term times 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. Now this is a horrible number, this 1 over 1.03 squared. What I suggest you do is store it into your calculator. Modern calculators are fantastic. You'll see the store key and you usually have five or six memories. I stored it into memory A and then when I entered it in my calculator, I didn't need to enter that 1 divided by 1.03 squared. I just did, and be careful with your brackets, I did 500 times A times open bracket, and then obviously if you're using the calculator, use more brackets, open brackets, 1 minus A to the power 10, close bracket, divided by, open a bracket, 1 minus A, close a bracket, and then close your big bracket. Try it yourself, do this question, check that you can use the calculator, that's an important skill as well, and you should get that the um, cost of the annuity is $3,664.40 to two decimal places. I have rounded the very final answer to two decimal places, so you can check that. So that's what um, present value of annuity is. Obviously, what we're saying here is if Mrs. Generous gives $3,664.40 over 10 years, a specific time, compounded semi-annually, um, then it will work out at exactly being able to give $500 per year to a scholarship student, which is $5,000 overall, which is the uh, specified amount. So that's present value of annuity. Um, thank you very much for watching. In the next video, we'll develop a formula, um, a financial formula using the geometric series.